learn how to measure voltage now. What is voltage? Voltage can be considered as the energy of the electrons. Remember the current was how many electrons are moving. Voltage can be considered like the push, like the energy that these electrons have. So remember that without a voltage, the free electrons will move around between atoms, but they move around randomly. And this is what this is not what we want. So if we want them to, to move in a in a certain direction, we need a voltage. And the voltage moves the electrons in a in the same all the electrons in the same direction, causing the current. It is easy to imagine voltage like a pressure in a water pipe. If we have a water tank completely filled with water, then the mass of all this water is going to cause a huge amount of pressure at the end of the pipe. If we have a water tank that's only part, that is only partly filled, then there will be less pressure in the pipe. If we open the valve, we let the water flow, then the same happens with electricity. The more voltage we have, the more current can flow. Voltage can exist without current. This is important. For example, we can measure the pressure in the pipe with a valve shut with no water flowing. Then this is uh, we can calculate the difference between the two pressures, and this is what we consider a difference of pressure. And the same happens with electricity. Sometimes have, uh, we, we refer then electricity or voltage as the potential difference. This is which means how much work can potentially be done by the electricity. Coming back to our water analogy, if we have two, ta two lakes at the same level, then there is no potential to do work. But uh, if we put uh, different uh, heights between them, then even if we, if we place a turbine in its path, we can use the energy to power a light or to do anything. This is how uh, factories of energy work. Back to the electric circuit, this battery has a potential difference of 1.5 volts between its negative and positive terminal. If we connect a piece of wire to both terminals of the battery, then the pressure of the battery, the pressure of the battery, will force electrons to flow in the same direction, all along the same path. We can place electrical components in the path of these electrons to do work for us. For example, if we now place a lamp into the circuit, then this will light up as the electrons flow through it. If we then add another battery to the circuit in series with the previous battery, then the electrons will effectively be busted by the second battery because they can only flow along the, this path and there is more energy being added. So we have more energy now. This will, this will combine the voltage so we get now three volts. The more volts equals more pressure, which means more passion force. That will mean more electrons will flow and the lamp will glow and uh, light brighter. However, if we were to move the battery and connect it in parallel, then the path of the electrons splits. Then now we don't have a more volts but what we have is more amps instead. If we measure the voltage, we find that it is 1.5 volts. So the question now is that the uh, lamp uh, light dimmer, but the circuit is going to take longer to get out. It's the electrical push with the cell that the cell gives to the current and is measured in volts, volts with a capital V as uh, the representation of the volts of a unit, okay? This is the symbol of the voltmeter also. So voltmeter is represented by like a circle with a V inside. Volts, which is the unit, is represented with a capital V. And sometimes the Voltage is also represented that like a B with, with a capital B, so it is a little bit confusing. Okay, let's see how we measure voltage. 
if you have different cells they then they produce different voltage voltages the bigger the voltage is supplied by the cell the bigger the current is so there is a very strong relationship between the current and the voltage now voltmeters are connected in parallel and sometimes we use the term potential difference instead of voltage but we are talking about the same what happens in a series circuit look if we want to measure the voltage or the potential difference that have this bulb that this bulb has then we have to connect the voltmeter like this in parallel with the lamp or here we have to do the same okay connect it in parallel let's find what are the reading in a in a in different circuits look imagine we have a, a cell of three that keeps three volts of energy and we put two lamps in series connected with the cell now this energy of three volts is shared with the three lamps that are connected in parallel if they are equal okay we are supposed they are supposed to be equal the two lamps so 1.5 volts for one lamp 1.45 volts for the other lamps what happens if we connect the same lamps but now in parallel that the difference the potential difference that the voltage is applied to both lamps equally evenly so now if we measure the voltage of this lamp or of this lamp is the same as the voltage of the cell so it doesn't share what happens that the cell is going to run out faster but you are going to light these lamps are going to light bright with the same brightness so again let's do another exercise you have to copy the following circuits and complete the missing coronal voltage readings remember what we have learned if you don't remember you are not ready please go back in the video and watch again how to measure current and how to measure voltage before doing the exercise and here you have the exercise we miss this current this voltage this voltage and this voltage and we know the reading of this ammeter and the reading of this voltmeter so we know that the cell or the battery gives six volts to the circuit and here we have we have the second situation second second problem where we have the same the same battery that the the other problem and now we have equal lamps we know that the battery gives six volts to the circuit and here we have how how many amps has the reading of this ammeter and we have to find what is the value of the voltmeter here the voltmeter here the ammeter here the ammeter here and the ammeter here so please copy this diagram at the diagram before and do it in your notebook before watching the solutions stop the video copy and then now we are going to see the solutions here we have the solutions so check and try to understand with this i have finished